Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 15th, 2022. Well, yesterday, <clears throat> those bulls and bears decided to take the day off. They all slept in and just decided to chop around for the day. There was some good news by the end of the day with some bulls showing up as the dark pull activity activity came into the market. But unfortunately, not a whole lot of answers were uh, made for us yesterday and volume um, stayed um, quite low. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at what we've got going on in these charts today and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So yesterday's action was pretty frustrating, very choppy for the most of the day. If I look at a short term chart, we just kind of chopped around. We had a little bit of a bearish um, um, uh, bent to it most of the day. And then right at the end of the day, we caught um, a little bit of rally as that dark pool activity consolidated to the market. So it was just one of those choppy, frustrating days. And one of the reasons that is the case is because we have such a big day of data coming today. And the market is just just a bit uncertain. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. Currently in the chart, if we if we talk technically in the, the diamonds, we made a lower high rejecting some price resistance and yesterday we made a lower low. Now at the end of the day, that good news that I was talking about is that we brought that back up just to hold on to that uh, September low and price support. So there's still that uncertainty. Will that price support hold through the data today? Will we bounce up off of there? I don't know, but certainly there is that little bit of concern here in the market. And unfortunately, if I drop a line across here, you can see trying to hold in there, that's going to be important because if we were to fail through this area, there's not really good support levels on down here um, and would suggest that we could easily test the, the, the low for the year. But if we can get a little bit of bullishness going, if we can catch a little bit of rally on the data today, let's keep an eye on some of these price resistance levels here in the chart. Um, I, I think it'd be a pretty big stretch. We'd have to have some really good data to get us up here um, to recover that 1300 point sell off. But let's watch if there's some areas in here, such as this price resistance that we could test or maybe just a little bit higher, some price resistance right in there that we might have an opportunity to test if those bulls get going. If the bears come in, uh, just watch out. We could see um, another day of painful selling. So just kind of be on your toes and watching carefully for that. Now, technically, uh, we certainly are in a bearish chart, um, a very bearish overall downtrend still in play. Um, 34 EMA crossing through the 50. Notice our 20 is crossing down through the 50. Um, even if we do catch a rally, we're going to create a pretty substantial t technical and price action resistance level right in that area so just watch that close now the other charts are very much the same if we take a look at the spy the good news here on the spy is we didn't take out this low at all we held in here on the spy we came down and tested fairly close so let's watch that closely and once again it would be pretty tough for us to imagine that we're going to spring all the way back up um, to test that downtrend candle or that big sell-off day candle. But, you know, you never know. If we can um, get some um, good news today, then maybe that possibility does exist. What I do want to point out is that we are officially in a lower high situation here. We've rejected resistance so far in the chart. So we'll want to be watching the support levels down in here. If the bears were to gain some ground in um, the data today, then I, again, I think we could have some painful selling because there's not really good price support levels below here. But if the bulls can gain some ground, maybe we'd start watching for an attack of that downtrend resistance line. Technicals in the charts, 
are also bad. Um, 34 crossing down through the 50 day moving average. We've got a lot of price and technical resistance above. Um, if we take a look at our QQQ, certainly um, <clears throat> encouraging that we didn't break down through this low. We held onto that September price support um, area in the chart. We still have this downtrend in play. We have the rejection of the resistance in here. So uh, once again, if those bears were to find some reason um, in the data today to, uh, to get angry, then it wouldn't be a big stretch to, to think that we could pop down through there. Now, one thing here in the QQQ is we have a little bit better support level in here with a few tests in this one area of price support in the QQQ before we sink down to um, lows of the year. Um, so watch that carefully. And, and once again, if the bulls find reason uh, for inspiration, then let's watch some of these uh, downtrend resistance areas in here um, for that resistance level in the chart. Now, IWM continues to be the strongest index of the bunch because we're still holding um, that trend break, um, holding above that. And notice we held quite strongly here. We've got uh, a higher low here. So maybe small caps are starting to stiffen up here a little bit and show a little bit of bullishness. So I'm going to give this one to the bulls, a um, little bit more of an edge anyway to those bulls. We'll want to watch that closely. We still have that unfortunate downtrend in place and that rejection of the high. And remember, you know, nothing has really changed. We're going to be looking at an aggressive Fed next week um, and a, a balance sheet roll off that some of it that is happening this week today. So we'll want to watch carefully as um, those things occur because that creates those liquidity issues in the market and certainly our bonds, our bond yields continue to rise showing um, significant pressure. So just watch that carefully and closely. Um, um, it, it would be, I, I hopefully, Hopefully, if you're a bull, you want to see this hold on. If you're a bear, you certainly want to see this break down. And I think right now there's a lot on both sides of that fence. So just just be on your toes. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Now, our VIX did a pretty good job of just resting in here yesterday, kind of like the rest of the market. The bulls and bears just slept in and we had a choppy session trying to um, rest and, you know, um, uh, lick those wounds a little bit of the big sell-off and see where we go from here with the data that we have coming this morning. So we'll want to keep in mind that we are still elevated in our VIX and what I'd be watching for is if we were to break um, through this level up here we could definitely see some um, ugliness, some panic that could come in if that were the case. Um, remember, we've got this little upside trend that we're holding on and we've got some price support in here as well. So if the bulls um, find inspiration here for the day, let's watch these areas in here where we might find price support in the VIX. And then if we look at our T2122, probably gives us our best hope of a bullish upside because we did sell off pretty substantially but unfortunately yesterday all we did was really hook that up just a little tiny bit which still means if the bears find inspiration today we have room to go to the downside and um, i know no one wants to hear that unless you're already holding bearish positions like i am but i think that um, the potential still does exist. Now, if the bulls can find inspiration, we certainly have plenty of upside opportunity here for them to, to push higher. So we'll want to be watching for both of those potentials. Remember, T2122 is just a four week new high, new low ratio. It doesn't tell us the direction of the trade. It just tells us when we're in those zones where we should expect the reversal to occur. And so far, we're kind of floating in midair here. We could certainly sink down in here to get that reversal pattern. 
um, or we find that bounce to the upside. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 also hooked just a little bit down here at the bottom, but it didn't really improve anything. Um, as I've shown many times, um, we broke that trend in here and we're holding on to this price support. So you got to give that to the bulls, but we're really stuck in this congestion area on T2108. So, um, 33, 34% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. Um, not the best case um, right now for a strong bullish um, um, comeback just yet. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 gives us a little bit more of that hope. And I've drawn this out several times. We broke that downtrend and so far we're holding on to that. We've recovered it and held on. We're holding on to some of this price support. So if you are a bull, keep those fingers crossed that um, it's going to be the small caps to maybe uh, pick us up and hold us in um, in that market. But I do want to point out that, you know, about 28% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average is a tough bullish case to make. It, it, it may mean that we're so oversold that we catch a bounce. But uh, be careful um, getting too bullish here in the market just yet. Let's take a look. Our T2101 uh, faltered a little bit yesterday, and that's simply because we had such low volume in the SPY and the QQQ yesterday. But we're continuing to show that uh, potential momentum uh, that built um, for the downside. So, um, you know, just keep an eye on that. It's, it's not really perking up all that much. Um, so be be cautious, make sure you're thinking carefully and don't think we're just gonna rip back to the upside until we see some more evidence of bullish activity. You know, when we have a day like yesterday, when we, we, we sell off really strongly and then we really don't go anywhere um, on the, oops, sorry, that's a two day. We really don't go anywhere that's a telling sign because it, it's telling us that even the institutions are suggesting that the prices aren't low enough for them to buy it. So you want to think about that carefully um, when you're thinking as a retail trader, should I be jumping in here? Well, when we're not seeing institutions jump in and say, hey, the prices are too low, we should be buying this. Um, be cautious and, and be very thoughtful about how you make your next moves in the market. Let's take a look at our VIX, or excuse me, our, our, our economic calendar. Um, our economic calendar day is a busy one. We've got a lot of data coming out this morning. Now, first thing this morning, we had futures pushing to the upside, but right now we've got futures um, a little bit um, choppy. They they were down about 80 points and now we've got Dow futures up 23 points. So they're all over the map here this morning, not knowing what comes next um, in these data reports. Uh, take a look. We've got jobless claims, Philly Fed, retail sales, and um, those are all potential market moving reports here before the bell. We know that retail sales and, and, and the Philly Fed could be a questionable uh, place for us in the market. And if we were to start to see jobless claims perk up, of course, that that um, could be questionable. Remember, good news right now, if we have a strong jobs report, is bad news uh, because that means the Fed will remain aggressive. So watch that carefully. And then we're going to have Empire State import export prices also before the bell. So lots of data for the market to react to. After the market opens, we're going to have industrial production, a business inventories, and a natural gas report. So a lot of data coming our way that could move us around pretty substantially. So we should be prepared for some volatility. Later on in the day, we're going to have have um, a four-week auction, an eight-week auction, and we've got a Fed balance sheet report coming out um, after the bell today. But watch that closely. Um, we are starting to roll off that balance sheet. Then um, remember on Friday, as you're planning forward, we're going to have consumer sentiment. Now, this one happens to be one of my favorite indicators um, because the market kind of tends to react the way the consumers feel. And um, so we'll want to watch that on Friday, but we'll finally catch a little bit of relief from all of these big reports. Kind of all depends on how we re, um, how how big a moves we have today 
what really happens and how seriously we'll be looking at these reports tomorrow. Let's take a look um, on our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar really light. We only have um, seven or eight companies um, um, even scheduled to report today or confirmed to report today and really the only notable there's a couple others in there maybe but um the really only notable is after the bell today um oops there we go um we're gonna hear from adobe um later on um after the bell looks like we're seeing some bearishness in that this morning heading into that report obviously this is a pretty bearish chart and we're kind of balancing here off of a support level so this could be an important earnings report for them whether they break down through there or finally start to pick up here a little bit on adobe so watch that one later on today let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful to your trading day and helping you plan your trading day, if you could please continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. And I know guys, it's a pain to do this every day, but it really helps in supporting uh, supporting the channel and supporting the effort of uh, putting out these videos every day. It's it's an awful lot of work to get this done. So um, I, I I'm glad so many people appreciate it, and I thank you so much for taking that time. Um, it, it's awesome. Thank you guys are truly truly awesome. And if if um, you feel the video is worthy, please share it out on your social media feed. That helps other people find it. And um, then they may be uh, may become part of our trading group here. So watch that close. Um, let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're gonna to have to do your own due diligence. Make sure that you understand carefully um, the risks that you are taking in this market and particularly on mornings like this where we have so many data points that could move us substantially. So watch that close. Now, I'm gonna to continue to repeat a lot of the same stocks here again uh, because we continue to show lots of interesting things going on in retail. Um, surprisingly, um, retail holding up in places pretty darn strong. Take a look right here, Dick Sporting Goods. This is a nice little setup here. Pulling back to the trend, look for that opportunity for Dick's to push on through to the upside. Now, certainly we have to worry about quite a little bit of price resistance in this chart, but boy, it is showing quite bullish here um, overall. Take a look at Etsy. Um, Etsy yesterday had a pretty good day bouncing up. Notice we've got some price support in here we're act reacting to. Now we do um, certainly have to worry about, you know, this um, resistance that we've got right um, up here in the chart. We're trying to um, break up through um, that area right there but we have pushed up through this little level right in here we've got that little higher low coming into play so keep an eye on Etsy there may be something happening here um, in that uh, chart and once again it's just some of that retail has been a little bit surprising now you might have seen that Walmart um, received an upgrade yesterday and it didn't perform all of that well um, after that upgrade but watch that closely we still have this upside trend going on in here and though we're dealing with a fairly substantial point of resistance it really wouldn't be that much of a surprise to see that start to perk up and pop through off of that um, upside trend so one to put on the list and keep an eye on another one would be target um, um, surprisingly um, some of these retailers are showing some pretty good strength now target as you can see we're dealing with some price resistance here in this chart but we've broken through into this gap area and we're holding it right now as support. So if I were to take a trend line and draw it right up here, you can see that possibility. If we hold right in here and find some bullishness in the market, Target may have that upside potential. So watch that closely. Now on the short side of things, guys, I think you might wanna be looking at some of tech. Take a look at um, um, AMD. 
AMD, um, pretty ugly chart here and it really hasn't moved all that much. And although it's received tons and tons of uh, warm and fuzzy reports and up, upside potential reports, it just hasn't been able to perform. You know, you can get talking heads talking about something and saying that this is a great stock and it very well may be, but as long as people don't care, um, nothing happens. And so watch this carefully. Um, there is that possibility if those bears were to come in, you could see that possibility of this just sinking right away and maybe coming back down to retest the lows here in the chart. If it rallies back, uh, once again, any rally back into resistance, I would be looking for that next potential short to the downside. So keep an eye on those. There is some retail out there in the housing sector. Take a look at lows that would be on the short side of things. Um, lows pushing down toward these lows, broke it a little bit yesterday and tried to bounce right at the end of the day. Watch that carefully, any rally back in lows I think sets up that opportunity for that short trade so watch that closely we obviously we're in a downtrend here <coughs> excuse me so any rally back I would be looking for that next opportunity to short we do know that our housing situation is starting to deteriorate 29% um, decrease year over year on mortgage applications and we're starting to see some of those builders and, and things having to discount to sell homes. So that can have negative effects on things like uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, which by the way, uh, I am biased on Home Depot because I am already short on this. Um, right now, right way options folks, we're up 80% on this trade. So looking pretty good here. Now I would be expecting some kind of a bounce in that chart before too long, but certainly uh, pretty darn bearish in that position. If we were to take a look at um, some um, energy stocks. Take a look at um, XLE. Energy um, on this ETF is holding up. As a matter of fact, I was really kind of considering a purchase in this um, yesterday. Nice little pattern, nice little pop, but I think I'm going to wait just a little while because I think there's an awful lot of pre-election manipulation going on here in energy prices. I'll watch that closely here, but I, I think there may be some opportunities in energy going higher, particularly if the US dollar starts to, to pull back. Right now, the US dollar has been maintaining lots and lots of strength, and that's creating problems around the world for other countries. But as long as it stays strong, I think our oil kind of hangs in there. If, um, if the dollar starts to weaken, look for energy prices to shoot up. Um, that's what typically occurs. So watch that close. And then last but not least, I want to talk about um, some of the alternative energies. Plug Power here, watching this chart. Plug Power certainly has a lot of resistance in, in that area, but notice we're not giving it up. We're not backing down. And even on these bearish days, Plug didn't act like it, anything was happening. So watch that carefully, whether you purchase it here or wait for it to break out of that resistance and then look for that next opportunity to enter. You might want to do uh, keep that one on a list. And First Solar, I think, is a pretty darn good looking chart um, that really is set up for the next potential upside move. Notice there's our trend finding support in here. Look for that opportunity that that could perk right on through there and continue to head up. Now, I will say that it's pretty darn extended, but stocks like First Solar Run, there's a lot of money um, going to these uh, from the federal government, and you can see lots of positive potential setups here. So take a look at those stocks in, in the solar sector. Um, alternative energies are gaining a lot of ground here in the market. So with that, guys, I'm run this, I've run this video long. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks a bunch for being here. I truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all of the best. Watch carefully for those reports this morning. Anything is possible. Be prepared. Have a great day. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning.